Hey. Ed? Nothing much. Just felt like looking around the school. That's all. After all, this is my last day here. And days flew by in the blink of an eye. But at the same time, it felt like this year would last for an eternity. <laughs> I've dedicated all three years of high school to boxing, and nothing else. Hmm. Was there really nothing else? It, never mind. It's nothing. I guess hanging out with everyone at the dorm counts as something. We even made pancakes together. We had some good times. If we hadn't lived in the same dorm, we might have never met each other. It's hard to imagine. <laughs> I'll be leaving the dorm soon. But that doesn't change the fact that I'll always be your senpai. If you ever run into trouble, you can tag me in. Whatever happens, I'm on your side. Do you remember Shinji? Ah, uh, I mean Naragaki. <laughs> Shinji was supposed to graduate with me. <sighs> I still can't believe that he was dragged into that incident. But I've actually got somewhere to be today. I'll tell you, but don't laugh, okay? I'm going to the public library. Because, like, there weren't any books about sports physiology and stuff at the school library. I'm gonna head out first to get some studying done, okay? Then again, since we've already bumped into each other, I kind of want to chat for a bit. Want to walk me to the entrance? Well, then, uh, guess I'll see ya. Gotta go home and study. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thanks. Hey, remember what I told you before? About finally finding my dream? I never had anything to work towards until now, so... I'll admit, I'd been slacking off. Mm, to be honest, my grades really suck. It's been tough getting them back up. And that's why I need to work harder. Ugh, I really, really want to hang out with you. I want to be with you. And I want to feel closer to you, too. But I gotta be patient. That's what I have to keep telling myself. I want to take my dream into my own hands and stand next to you with my head held high. I want us to walk towards the future together. You just watch. I'm gonna be so much more irresistible by then. I bet you'll fall in love with me all over again. Just kidding. But that's why I need to be patient for now. Oh, I know. Don't they say that food tastes the best after you've tried your hardest in a match? Well, this is just like that. If we're patient now and cool off for a while, then maybe later on... Wait up! What are you even making me say? <sighs> anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, see ya! We'll hang out sometime soon. I was just looking for you. This came for you. It's from Hayase. I bet his school is sorry he's gone. Oof, he was a heck of an athlete. But it's good news for us. Uh, there's nothing standing between us and total victory. Well, I'll see you around. How's it going? I don't know your address, so I'm sending this to the school. to get used to the job too the real reason i'm writing is because of track before i'd pretty much given up hope of ever continuing x 
except there was a part of me that refused to let it go. I don't care what it sounds like. Track and field was my whole life. I guess the factory manager realized what's up and he wants to help me out. We're gonna make a track team here. Well, I call it a team, but it's really just a few guys at the factory. We practice after work and sometimes on our days off. The other day we did endurance swimming at Lake Biwa. We've even climbed Mount Hiei. We don't have fancy equipment like before, so we're not as efficient. But I'm still having a blast. Most of the guys are just in it for fun, so I don't really get to do any serious training. But I guess it'll even the playing field for them. How about you? You're still at it, right? I'm sure you're just gonna keep getting better and better. It's weird how badly I want to see you improve. Look, one day, you and I are gonna go at it again. And if I'm gonna be a good rival, then I've got a lot of work to do. It feels nice having a goal to work toward. Almost forgot what it was like. Oh yeah, and my mom's getting better. She's in a long-term care facility with lots of fresh air. My relatives and friends come by the house, so my siblings are in good hands too. Things have been pretty great these days. I feel like I can take care of the people who matter to me. It's really fulfilling. And I get to feel that way because of you. So, thank you. Can't wait to see you again. important though look at this flyer over here the dark history of student teacher romance uh, people are free to fall in love with who they want there's nothing wrong with that I can see why it would be a problem if it was between a teacher and a student but that doesn't give them the right to make fun of it like this I'm going to write a letter of protest to the school paper I'll be all right on my own. I'm going to do this by myself. Thank you, Senpai. There's one thing I've decided for myself. It's not much, but I'd like to continue on the student council for next year, too. It was because of you that I was able to change. I know that for a fact. And I never would have met you if I hadn't joined the student council. That's why I want to stay involved. At least, I hope I can. <sighs> I want to be able to like myself more. And I want you to like me more, too. I want to be the first one you think of. That's why, um... I... love you. <sighs> what am I saying? I, I can't believe I said something like that at school. I, I'm sorry. W well then, please excuse me, but maybe next time we could go home together. I have so many places I'd like to see, and I want to visit each and every one of them with you. Are you going home? You look a bit pale. 
Are you doing all right? Don't overwork yourself, okay? Maybe you should rest in the nurse's office before you leave. I was actually about to head to the faculty office. Would you like me to walk you downstairs? I want to spend as much time with you as I can. I'd be happy to. Okay, let's head down to the faculty office together. Oh, it'll be kind of embarrassing to walk side by side at school, huh? Yamagishi, what are you doing outside the faculty office? Oh, well, I, I want to start a tech club. Tech gloves? Are you referring to technician's gloves? I think you'd have to go to a hardware store for those. Um, not tech gloves. A tech club. Like a club all about technology and electronics. You want to start a club now? Why is it always you, Yamagishi? Look, it's already March. Can't you at least wait until April? Huh? But I really want to get this group going. I promise I'll do my best to find members and all that. So, do I have your permission to start the club? What? You don't even have any members yet? Then it's not even worth discussing. You can't start a club without at least five members. Now, I must be going. He's gone. Well, looks like I need to find five people now. Uh, would you like to join my tech club? Yes! I'm so happy to hear that! I was hoping you'd help me. You know, I used to think it was wrong for me to like electronics. I always kept it to myself, because I thought it was a strange thing for a girl to be interested in. But you accepted me for who I am. That's why I decided to be strong and let everyone know who I really am. Even if people think I'm strange, I know it's okay. I have you with me, so there's nothing to be scared of. Now I want to meet more people like me and hang out with them. Since I kept my love of electronics hidden, I never had any friends who shared my interests. That's why I thought I'd try starting a club all about it. Because maybe there are other people out there who like this stuff too. And if so, I want a way to talk to them. I do admit I'm a little nervous though. But don't worry, I'll still keep going to art club. It'll probably get really busy, but I want to keep trying. It's like jumping off the diving board at the pool. That kind of feeling. You'll stay in art club next year too, won't you? That's good. Next year, I want to be in whatever clubs you're in. I'd like to be in the same homeroom too, and I'd love to see you more at the dorm. I think I just want to be with you more in general. I keep asking more of you, don't I? If there's anything I can do for you, don't hesitate to ask. I know I'm not most reliable, but I want to get to know you better. I want to be closer to you. Oh, I've got to hurry and find some club members. And I need to make recruitment posters too. Well, I'll see you later. Next time, maybe we can talk about it more in my room? <laughs> now I really have to go. Bye. Anyway, you've been different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You're looking more and more like a professional. Your lesson the other day really caught my eye. It seemed like you spent a lot of time preparing it. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. It's unparalleled. Unparalleled? Well, yes, I have been studying while making preparations lately. Things like how to best communicate the lessons I'm looking to teach. <laughs> I guess it does seem kind of out of the blue, huh? <sighs> the thing is, I've decided to stop wasting my time only looking at what's right in front of me. How wonderful! 
I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Well, when I was just goofing off one weekend, I met someone. After that, I took a closer look at my life. That person, wait, they were real, right? They had to be. Ah, uh, yes, I understand. I myself once had a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. A uh, destiny called fate? Isn't that a bit redundant? Besides, you should be careful what you say to a single woman. <laughs> anyway, if you'll excuse me. Oh, uh, is everything okay? Do you need something? You don't look well. Uh, maybe you should go to the nurse's. Uh, wait, you dropped something. What? Huh? This bone wallpaper... Now, now, mister. No cell phones at school. Hmm? That screen. I... Read downward. Love... You. My! What a charming confession of love! Did you make this? Absolutely no clue what this kid is talking about. La 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 la! I can't hear you! I can't hear you! Uh, never mind that. What's going on? Why do you have this screen cap? Oh. Oh, don't. Don't tell me you got it online. The only ones who were on that server were. It couldn't be. There's no way. Are you kidding? No, no, no! Calm down, Miss Toriyumi. Help! Someone call a doctor! Duh. Don't tell me. You're Tatsuya? I... Uh, I said all that? To you? I... 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 Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. oh, no! This can't be happening! I quit this school! I'm leaving! I'm never coming back! Oh, I can't live with this! Just kill me now! You really are... <laughs> um... I... I'm... <laughs> Maya! I'm Maya. It's me, damn it! You got a problem with that? <sighs> Why don't you say something? Jeez, you idiot. <sighs> this is so embarrassing! <sighs> but... There was one thing I wanted to say, if we ever met face to face. I... I was able to turn my life around thanks to you. So, um... Thank you. <laughs> uh, wipe that smile off your face, or I'll wipe it off for you, with my fists. Anyway, um... If you don't mind... If you don't... <sighs> mind... Uh, maybe we could have dinner? <laughs> Go to hell with this!
sub, dude. I haven't had their sp We hold up. I ain't made out of money. I'm just a poor, broke high school kid here. Come on, man. We're buds, right? We even bonded while playing catch and everything. Right? I uh, guess we never actually got around to that, huh? Well, anyways, hear me out for a bit? I got called into Miss Toriyumi's office again. She asked me what I was planning to do after April. Dude, like I know. And I was trying to play it off, but then she got all worked up and gave me one hell of a lecture. It's just me? Or has she gotten way more serious than before? Tomochika was saying that you can't even bribe her with cake anymore. Oh, hey, did you hear from Tomochika about the new teachers coming in April? Apparently they're all women. You have no idea how stoked he was. Honestly, I was getting major secondhand embarrassment. Well, none of that really matters to me. I already got a special some woman. Huh? Uh, I did have a special someone. Right? Uh, but I'm not making this up or anything. I want to tell such a pathetic lie to try and look cool. I just thought that, that there was someone special in my life. Have I forgotten something important? Something I never should have forgotten. Uh, sorry, man. I, I think I'll pass on the ramen, actually. Oh. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about you. Uh, mm, can we go somewhere else? Thanks. Uh, you look like you're not feeling well. Sorry to bother you at a time like this. But I appreciate it. Uh, hey, sorry for calling you out here. I actually have a little favor to ask. Mm. It's about my mom. I want you to meet her. <laughs> I, I mean, not, not in a weird way. It's just that I promised to meet up with her, but I'm still kind of scared. If I see her, I might end up saying some really nasty things. What if we end up hurting each other even more? I'm not trying to make her feel bad. I haven't fully sorted out my feelings yet. But I do want to see her, I think. That's why I thought it'd be great if you could be there with me. <laughs> you don't have to say anything, really. It's just that I'd feel more confident having you around. With you by my side, I think I could treat my mom with a little more kindness. So if it's not too much trouble, what do you think? <laughs> You'll do it? Thank you. Okay, I'll call her up right away. I've been putting this off for so long. Sorry to wrap you up in my family situation. Hey, um... You must be thinking your life would be easier if I didn't have so many problems. What, are you saying you actually like my problems? Hey, don't worry about it. I was just joking, okay? Jeez. You know, it's almost spring break. It all went by so fast. We're gonna be 30 years soon. And after that, we'll graduate and go to college and then become working adults, I guess. Wow, oh, it's hard to imagine. Do you think we'll still be together at that point? Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> well, let's talk about the near future then. Wanna go somewhere over spring break? Oh, how about Destiny Land? But just the two of us, okay? You better not invite anyone else. <sighs> like if we stay the night and stuff. <sighs> I wonder if anyone at the dorms would notice if the two of us disappeared for a night. <sighs> That's an embarrassing thought. <sighs> we can talk more about it later. Don't forget to save some time during spring break, okay? Welcome! 
Oh dear. What's the matter? You don't look well. Are you tired? Try not to overdo it. Uh, I'm sorry. I should try not to call you that in public. <sighs> if you don't mind, could we have a little chat someplace else? I have some business to take care of later on. But I'd like to talk with you until then. Thank you. In that case, why don't we go to the student council room? I'd like to see it one last time. This room feels so nostalgic, even though the entrance exams have only kept me away for a short while. <sighs> the results haven't been posted yet, but I'm fairly confident that I passed. If that's the case, then this spring I'll formally become a college student, and that means I'll no longer be seeing this view. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to spare today. The company heads are conducting a briefing. The Kirijo group may appear strong, but it's actually rather frail. It could collapse at any time. I have to keep it together. <laughs> of course. In fact, there's something that only you can do. Who else is going to help me clear my... It's thanks to you that I... Who else is going to help me clear my head when I need a change of pace? Learn to feel comfortable in my own skin, beyond my identity as a Kirijo. Before long, I'll be taking my leave from the dorm as well. I've begun packing up my things, but I haven't made significant progress. My books, my clothes, my photos... Every one of them brings back memories. It's been a short but eventful three years. It all went by so fast, especially the year that you came. Whenever we spoke or passed each other in the dorm, I felt like my heart would burst. I never knew I had these emotions just waiting to be given permission to be felt. I wonder what would have become of me if you hadn't transferred to the school. If I hadn't met you, would I have gone through with the arranged marriage? Or would I have gotten on my motorcycle and left it all behind? Fate is... A mysterious thing. Well, there's no point in dwelling on the past. There are things that need to be done for the future of the Kirijo group, as well as my own. And for your future as well. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Come introduce yourself to the heads of the family sometime. Don't worry, you'd only be saying hello. I'd just like them to know who you are. Well, it's almost time. I'd best be on my way. I'd love to see you back at the dorm, but I'll be out late tonight. Perhaps this weekend? Just the two of us? <laughs> who else will lend me their shoulder when I need a little support? You're the only one who can do this for me. Go on. Try and name someone who could do the same. <laughs> Was that a bit much? Well, now you know how serious I am. I need you in my life. <laughs> well. We'll see. Now then, if you'll excuse me. found you. It was kind of nerve-wracking to come to the high school campus all by myself. Anyway, I'm here to drop off something Sonata-san forgot. He's usually so put together, but sometimes he can be just a little scatterbrained. <laughs> oh, speaking of forgetfulness, do you remember someone named Aragaki-san? He was at the dorm for a little while. I didn't really talk with him all that much, but whenever he crosses my mind, I feel this ache in my chest unbearably sad. It's as if I've forgotten something important, though I'm not sure what. 
I get the feeling that there was something I had to do. I just don't know what it is or why I feel this way. Oh, um, sorry about that. You're really easy to talk to, so I kept going on and on. I appreciate that you always listen to what I have to say, though, Senpai. You even went with me to buy tea, and you don't treat me like I'm just a little kid. So, um, thanks for everything. I'm still just a kid, aren't I? I wish there was a way for me to grow up more quickly. No matter how grown up I try to act, people still end up protecting me. There's always someone sheltering me. I wonder if I'll ever be strong enough to protect someone else instead. Coming up next, a special report on the Amazing Commodities Corporation, producer of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. President Tanaka has made an undisclosed private expenditure that caused quite a stir in the media. With us is our reporter live on scene. Take it away. I'm reporting from the Amazing Commodities head office where a swarm of journalists has convened. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air is thick. Thank you. We'll be looking forward to updates as things unfold. Back to the studio. The unaccounted for expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize he is guilty of tax evasion. Oh, no question. This is President Tanaka we're talking about. All he cares about is lining his own pockets, and he does it by swindling his own viewers. He could become the richest man on the planet and still never be satisfied. Why doesn't he donate some of that money for a change? Damn Scrooge. W well I'm sure he's not as bad as all that. Oh, this just in. Something's happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. <laughs> he's carrying a microphone. It, it looks like he's about to sing. Ready to go in your TV. Tanaka's commodities. Everybody's ultimate friend in greed. Hi, everyone! Amazing Commodities is here for you year-round, rain or shine! We have a monopoly on the cheapest, highest quality goods! Our customers shout for joy so loud it's considered noise pollution! Our stocks rise so high they're a hazard to birds! And we make losers every day out of people who don't buy! We're the only miracle left in this sad, desolate world! That's the Amazing Commodities Guarantee! We look forward to your business! Oh, he, he's gone. What the hell are you doing? You call yourself a reporter? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, you're just giving him free advertising! We'll have to interrupt you there, as we've just received a fax. It... it's from President Tanaka. 
The message reads, Hi, this is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. And what's in my pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money, so what's it to them how I use it? But let me make one thing clear. I am not ashamed of a single thing. My contents is clear, dear viewers, so buy my products, guilt-free. Amazing commodities, here for you year-round, rain or shine. Buy now or you'll miss your chance. You'll see. Bye bye Apparently, he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds. Does he have no shame? Oh, this Tanaka guy. Just because he's made some money for himself doesn't mean that we're his little playthings. On behalf of the people, I have something to say, and I am not afraid to say it. Fat pigs like him who gorge themselves on the excesses of capitalism should be... Yes, thank you very much. This concludes our special report. With no clues as to the utilization of said funds, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market. This just in. We have reports that amazing commodities stocks have suddenly skyrocketed. photo before? There's Sonata Senpai, Kirijo Senpai, and and that one student who passed away last year in an incident. Uh, Aragaki Senpai?
It's me, Aige. May I please come in? Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. I remember everything. It seems like everyone else has forgotten. But I remember. That day we... I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered, I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did during the last battle. Today is graduation day, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. The weather is so nice outside. Do you remember where we all promised to meet? Why don't we go ahead and wait for the others? We can enjoy the peaceful view of the city. The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together, we want the third year class to know that we're truly proud of you. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and success. On this momentous occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. Thank you. This past year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. It must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness? Wow, that's rare. I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. It must be tough to talk about her father. I remember now. That's right. After my father died. There was a time I lost motivation to live my life. Uh, am I forgetting something? Sonata Senpai? What are you doing? Kurumaru! <laughs> but no longer. I shall honor my father's will. I won't run from the future. I'll face it head on. Not a single doubt remains in my mind. And the reason. <laughs> Our promise! <sighs> Mitsuru. That's right! It's because I have forged such wonderful friendships. And we swore that we would never lose hope, no matter what the future may bring. Senpai! We remembered him, and I guess. Yes, I did as well. Let's go. They're waiting.
And yet, without exception, each and every season will come to an end. We fought side by side. We faced the world's end. And now, I'm finally beginning to understand what it was I'd been searching for. I always wondered what it really meant to live. Now I think it's following your heart, fighting for what you can change, and accepting the things you can't. Nothing on this earth lasts forever. Every life will one day fizzle out. That holds true for all of us, and as soon as you come to terms with it, you realize something. You see what really matters. And find out what it is that gives your life meaning. When I learned that I wasn't strong enough, I was tormented by it. Now I understand why. Protecting others is the duty I was given. But to me, it was more than an obligation. At some point, it became something I wanted to do for myself. Once I decided to try and prevent the fall, something inside me clicked. When I thought about how I might never see you again, that's when I first understood what mattered to me the most. And so, I made up my mind. What I want is to protect you from now until the end of time. I want to stay by your side. And I know I'm not the only one out there who could do this. But still, I want to. Because I'm positive. If I do it for you, then nothing's a waste. My life will have meaning. So, thank you. to me. It's good. I finally found a reason to live. So why am I... <laughs> They're here. I see it now. I have friends. We support each other through thick and thin. Not everything needs to be for some greater purpose. Just caring about someone can be enough. That's all we need to give our lives meaning. As for me, I found my path. And that's to protect you with my life. going anywhere. In a moment, the others will be joining us. forevermore.
Ha, ha, ha.